What's the worst case of rich kid syndrome you've ever seen? My roommate refused to go with his family for spring break since there wasn't a flight with first class seats and only business class was available. He ended up taking the connecting flight that did have first class available while the rest of his family just took business on the direct flight. You gotta be comfortable, you know, business class, the new cattle class. Wouldn't exactly call it rich kid syndrome, but it took me a little while to get used to my GF's lifestyle. I grew up in a very working class family with both parents working full time just for us to stay afloat. Went around my GF's house and saw a lady making food in the kitchen. You must be Mrs. Surname. Trying to be really polite and I introduced myself to her family. That was actually their maid. It was awkward. Luckily they're all really down to earth and stuff cause turns out that her parents were basically homeless and living out of a storage space when they were my age. But her parents started up a little business and actually became really successful enough to support them. And they just kept growing. That makes sense. People who come from humble beginnings often turn out to become decent people when and if they get rich. The maid comment reminded me of this moment when I was traveling with my friends. For some context, I was the only Latino in the group of my mostly white friends. And on this trip, we stayed at another friend's family's house. We woke up to an older Mexican woman cooking breakfast. She turned out to be their maid slash cook. And this friend's mother said, Oh my God, have you ever tried homemade tortillas? They are the best. My white friend slowly turns his head over to me, then back to the mom and says, I'm pretty sure he has. I just smiled and she felt super embarrassed. It was a funny moment and she was super nice. The dude who relentlessly bullied me in school was also the son of one of the richest people in the city. One day a teacher caught him with his hands around my throat and I was pinned against a wall. We were both taken to the teacher's meeting room where it was explained to me that we should try to get along and that we should apologize to each other. Did I mention his dad also built the flashy new cafeteria for the school that year? He was caught on numerous occasions with me in some state of distress and every time they found a way to make it both our problem. His dad pumped a lot of money into that school. He also flew his friends on his private airline to Manchester United games. So nobody stood up for me because they could lose their privileges. My saving grace was a lot of his mates in the early years of secondary school turned on him in the later years because he was such a jerk. But as you might tell, I'm still not over it. I feel this because I worked at a place that gave other people more chances than they deserved because that person knew people at the company. It's a crappy feeling when you get mistreated and no one has your back. Attended an international high school in Ho Chi Minh City where a lot of new wave millionaire kids live. The school was ridiculous and a third of the kids were expats, perfectly lovely kids, and a third were local Vietnamese kids whose parents were working their butt offs to send them to this private school, and the other third were the millionaire kids. They would never hesitate to show off their mummy and daddy's wealth. They'd pull up to school in their Lamborghinis, Ferraris, etc. And if their Rolls Royce didn't come on time to pick them up from school, it would be a straight phone call to their other driver to come pick me up right now. They'd be such jerks 24 seven to the non-rich locals and constantly just bring up the most trivial things and complain about them. I'm literally not exaggerating here when I say this example. My maid bought me the wrong Louis Vuitton bag. I told her it was the tan brown one, not the light brown one. Ugh, I can't believe it. Now we have to send her on the jet to Shanghai to get another one. They all paid and used family connections to get into Harvard, Stanford, UPenn, etc. And even now constantly complain on Facebook and Instagram about how crap their resident hall food was. So they just hired some freaking personal chef or something. Mind you, these kids were the dumbest bunch I've ever seen. One of them literally was so clueless about the most basic facts, but still got into business management. Despised a lot of them. Glad I'm in Europe, far away from most of them. When I was in high school, if you just had a car that worked, you were popular. Group of rich high school kids in Montana out driving around, drinking. Found two combines, large farm tractor thingies, worth about 250,000 each, out in a wheat field. Decided to have a demolition derby. Got caught in the judges chambers with the farmers who just wanted the damages reimbursed. The high-end family lawyers asked what the hell they were thinking when they did that. The response? Well, you can't put a price on a good time. Turns out that was the wrong answer. Man, this story ended on a cliffhanger. Did they go to jail? Did their family end up paying? I get enough incomplete stories from my anime. I don't need it on Reddit too. 
He was 25 when I knew him. His father owned the oil fields. He had credit cards that he used for anything and everything. That they paid the balance off every month. He never even kept track of what was charged on it. He just bought whatever caught his fancy. He openly and shamelessly admitted that he had offered his college professors money to give him passing grades. One day he was cranky about something and said, I wish my parents would just die so I could have their money. Why should I have to wait? Sounds like his parents should find out how he really feels and leave him with just a dollar in the will. Back in high school, we were doing one of those icebreakers where you pass the beach ball around and whoever caught it had to answer the question their thumb landed on. Well, this kid who had proclaimed being rich numerous times before, talking about his parents owning a known pizza place and how he drives expensive sports cars caught the ball and his question was, if you want a million dollars, what would you do with it? His response was somewhere along the lines of, A million dollars wouldn't make any difference in my life. Thanks a lot, Brad. You just ruined the game. Stupid Brad, always messing things up. I once had a mom ask if I could open the back of our ambulance so her kid could see what was inside since he wanted to be a fireman. I'm a medic, not a firefighter. I agree as long as he doesn't touch anything. Of course, the second the door opens, the kid hops in and goes straight for our expensive monitor. I tell him no, that it's dangerous and it could break, to which he starts screaming, I don't care, my mom will buy it. And the mom says, it's fine, just let him play with it. If it breaks, I'll replace it. I had to physically pick him up and carry him out of the ambulance since she didn't try to control him. While this is happening, we get paged out for a call and this lady suggests that she could pay double our hourly rate if we just stay for a few more minutes. Just so her little punk could explore slash destroy more of our equipment. Get the hell out of here with that crap lady. You're willing to delay an ambulance so you won't have to deal with your precious little Joey's tantrum? Unbelievable. What would have been funny is if the kid used the shock panels and he flew out of the ambulance. A very distant relative of ours, some weird branch off the family tree, offered her son a bribe of an entire apartment building if he finished his undergraduate accounting degree. I just went, huh? So you get an immediate investment after graduating and you can rent out a place for mega dollars? My significant other has a rich aunt and uncle with only one kid. When he graduated college, his gift was a complex that brings in enough money for this kid to retire on. But if you ask him, he's self-made. I will never understand how rich kids can claim to be self-made. Maybe it's them just wanting to try and fit in. I don't know about rich, but just spoiled. My cousin insisted on a $15,000 wedding ring and a $30,000 wedding. She and the groom made $25,000 a year combined. Her dad paid for everything. They divorced within six months. Looks like she wanted a wedding, not a marriage. I have a kid in my MBA cohort that outsources his work and projects to India. He barked and moaned when one of our professors gave him a C when he only showed up to two classes after his dad donated $10,000 to the school. Overall nice guy, but doesn't have a clue. Had this one kid who dramatically threw down his smartphone on the ground in a mock frustration. Broken phone was replaced with few to no questions. I did that, but with an old flip phone so it didn't break. Got a few laughs when the battery flew out, and more when I picked it back up and it still worked. I chucked it halfway across the football field once, and that thing stayed intact. I went to middle slash elementary school with some very wealthy people. Typically, I was oblivious enough to not realize it but two instances come to mind. In fifth grade, we did an exchange trip type of thing with some kids in Canada. On the flight over there, one of the classmates said, wow, this is crazy. I've only ever flown first class before. Later in eighth grade, I was at the same kid's house, an absolute mansion on top of a hill with the long landscaping entrance driveway, marbled floor entrance hall with stairs winding up either side, etc. And he and a girl, who had been dropped off in her dad's newer Ferrari, started having a discussion comparing the merits of their relatives in home movie theaters. Like, not just a living room with a cool AV setup, but full-on movie theaters with road seatings that could fit about 50 people. My family wasn't poor, but that was when I realized that we weren't rich either. I deliver pizzas in a very rich area. I'm talking seeing Rolls Royces and supercars on a daily basis kind of rich. My manager told me a story of someone that used to work there. 
This guy would deliver pizzas in a brand new BMW M3 and just put absolutely no effort into his job. Delivering pizzas isn't hard. Apparently this guy only had a job because his parents wouldn't pay his allowance if he didn't work. How much was his allowance you ask? 5,000 a month. This guy was making $60,000 a year to deliver pizzas part time. That's actually super common in wealthy families. An acquaintance of mine has the same deal with his parents. Work 40 hours a week and get $100,000 a year in allowance plus $15,000 a month for the mortgage being paid. Excuse me, $100,000 allowance? No wonder rich kids are out of touch. Brought my college roommate to my mom's house for Thanksgiving because he lived in a different state and I was only 15 minutes from campus. I gave him a quick tour of our house and he was astonished how clean it was. My mom's a neat freak and keeps a very clean house. He then said to my mom, wow, you guys must have a really good maid service. I've never seen my mom laugh that hard before. Two girls, both nice and fairly level headed, but also just raised too damn rich. One would take a taxi everywhere in town. It was a very safe small college town with the free campus buses and she'd taxi across campus. She lived two blocks away from me and would take a taxi from her dorm to my house. Google Maps says it's a full four minute walk. She swore she had a terrible sense of direction and couldn't figure out where we lived. But you would think after that first embarrassingly short taxi ride, she'd throw on her address in Google Maps and just walk. The other would regularly complain about how not knowing how to manage their money. It took a while to figure out, but it eventually clicked that she meant very poor people didn't know how to invest their money in stocks and bonds. Then one day we were having a conversation where she revealed that she didn't think a house in Detroit in 2010 could possibly cost under $1 million. I told her I grew up in a nice 180K home and she thought I was dumb or lying. I shattered her world when I showed her my house on Zillow. When she graduated college, she complained about how much stuff cost all the time. It was nice seeing her learn the value of a dollar finally. What do you think made the second girl finally come around? Was it just enough times of colliding with the real world? Her parents stopped paying her way after she got a job. She was probably making 70,000 to 80,000 in her first job, but she was living in Pasadena. She talked all the time about how poor she was and how she was living in an apartment above a garage. But at the time, I lived in an apartment with five other people and felt pretty wealthy making $11 an hour. So I wasn't exactly heartbroken for her. Went to college with a totally chill dude who was apparently rich as freak. He was on our college golf team and enjoyed destroying a club if he hit a bad shot. He wasn't even angry. It was just like a reflex to go Bo Jackson over his knee or whatever. I asked him how he keeps playing and he basically said after every round he would just buy brand new clubs. He showed me in the trunk of his car that he had like five boxes of irons and always took the plastic off a new driver for every round and he played every day at least 18 if not 36 holes. He said it wasn't even a rounding error in his dad's credit card. Jesus, I play golf and my golf clubs are really nice and custom fit to me, but that's because my dad is a PGA member and we get a sweet wholesale price. I can't imagine getting them replaced every day without it hurting, or even replacing them every year like some do. Kid in my high school crashed six cars within a year, and they weren't like 90s Toyotas and Hondas like most high schoolers have. These were brand new Subaru STIs, a BRZ, a BMW, brand new Jeep, stuff like that. The last car his dad bought him was a semi-new Ford Focus, a decent car, better than my 1997 white Camry. Every day he complained and threw a fit that his dad wouldn't buy him another $30,000 plus car. Must be nice, I'm over here worrying about an oil leak on my car and the repair costs. I work with this guy. He recently proposed to a girl he dated for a few weeks with a 5K ring. He's 19 and we make less than $30,000 a year. They were married a month later. One of the kids in my grade bought bags of angel dust to senior prom. Not only did his parents let him go, the police did too. Now I believe he's an engineering program at Yale. A kid that used to work for me came in work super pissed off one day. I asked him what was wrong, to which he replied, My freaking maid didn't make my bed again, and my dad still won't fire her. 
I used to work for a family that had a cleaning lady every other day. None of the kids made their own beds, made their own food, washed their own dishes. Hell, never even loaded a dishwasher. They just left them on the table for someone else to pick up. They had never done their own laundry either. When the son had football practice, I watched a teenage boy have a goddamn meltdown, sobbing and cursing about their maid for not throwing his uniform into the wash, and he didn't know how to do it himself. Their two oldest are about to have a very interesting freshman year in college. When I was in college, I roomed with a girl like this. Her mom did everything for her to the point where she couldn't function like a normal adult. Like her mom would drive 11 hours to clean this woman's room for her, clean up her used pee pee wrappers, etc. Her mom would get really snarky with me like a self-reliance was a loser quality. Also because it made her daughter look bad? While it was really easy to learn to wash your own clothes, etc., she couldn't do it and just said, Oh, well, I won't have to. When I graduate, I'm going to get a high paying job and have everything done for me. I wasn't raised to be a domestic like you. Fun fact, I wasn't raised that way. I did my own cooking and laundry because my mom couldn't bother to do anything but watch soap operas and Lifetime movies. Fast forward to present day. Guess who couldn't hack taking care of herself after college and had to move back in with her mom? This was all of my college roommates. They couldn't do laundry, pick up after themselves, clean dishes, or make themselves a freaking sandwich. The ones whose parents lived close by, their mommies would come and clean up their room and do their laundry. Came back from a music festival in Southeast Asia, got VIP tickets. I swear, this isn't about me. One of the other festival goers is a 20-something year old Asian girl who looks like she's straight out of that movie Crazy Rich Asians. This chick had a photographer following her around snapping pictures or posing in front of the stage with various acts, getting in the way of other people trying to dance. She asked security if she could get them to clear a section for her so she can get an unobstructed view of the stage for better photos. She bought a couple of bottles, six in total, for her table and again had the photographer take incredible photos of her posing with the bottles. She was incredibly rude to the waitstaff, snapping her fingers and in general talking to them like they were lower class citizens. She asked my maid and I, both westerners, to hang with her and her mates at her table. And again, had the photographer take photos of her posing with us at the table. The other two guys from the group, both Asian, approached us when they saw that we were at this table. And it looked like we had made some new friends. When they approached us, the girl and her friends got quiet spoke amongst themselves in Indonesian, and basically shooed them away. We went with them after they did that and walked over to our friends. One of the guys is Indonesian, and he told us that she basically told them to get lost and know their place. I can confirm that this definitely happens in Indonesia. I lived there for a number of years, and the racial and financial segregation is nothing like any other country or culture I know. I traveled there with a Filipino friend of mine. He looks Filipino and sounds and acts Aussie. He dresses very well. I dress very casually. In all of the stores we went into, if it wasn't apparent that we were traveling together, he would have the staff members follow him around. In one store, I was invited to try a $40,000 watch on. I let the staff members know I had no intention of making a purchase, but they insisted that I give it a try. He was told they do not allow people to try on watches. Interesting place. I know a girl who comes from a multi-million dollar family. She's made several blog posts about how she and her significant other were broke, spent the year living really lavishly, and that they were going to end up on the street because there was no place to live available in their price range. And she genuinely wanted to end herself. Turns out what she meant is that there wasn't anywhere available above the normal rent rate. Ended up in a top floor penthouse. Guess daddy came through? Neither of them work. Man, this story just straight annoyed me. My boss bought her kids a $2 million house to live in while they went to college. My boss also paid for their college. So of course, they moved out of the $2 million house five months later because they wanted to be independent. Oh yeah, and expected mommy and daddy to pay for their rent, utilities, college, cars, vacations to see friends in different states, etc. I would just stay in the $2 million house. Maybe start a crayfish farm in the backyard to help pay for the house. Crayfish racers will pay a lot of money for a fast crawl, dad. Crayfish racing reminds me of Filthy Frank. Friend in college literally went to the local GameStop at midnight every Tuesday. He'd buy every new release for every console. 
We went over to his house one time that year and he had about 60-ish games that were unopened. One time we were walking around campus and he stopped by the ATM. He got his receipt and called his dad. Turns out his dad was worried his funds were running low so he sent him 25000 just to make sure he wasn't going to starve. Had a friend in high school whose dad wasn't involved. He was raised middle class like myself and lived with his mom and stepdad. After high school, he worked towards becoming an electrician and was saving for his first apartment. His dad eventually came around when he was right out of high school and started giving him money here and there when he needed it. His dad owned a large company on the East Coast and was a multi-millionaire. Soon his dad convinced him to quit his trade work and gave him a job at his business. Shortly after, he was promoted to a managerial position that he wasn't qualified for and paid way too much. He'd just get wasted while on conference calls and nobody questioned him since he was the boss his son. His dad bought him his first home, almost half a million dollars, and multiple cars. He took up horse racing and we quickly had nothing in common. Gone were the days of dumb teenage stuff, going fishing, hiking, playing video games together. He quickly found a girlfriend whose dad was also a multimillionaire. She was 30 and still putting everything on daddy's credit card. I couldn't keep up with their lifestyle and very quickly we faded as friends. After his girlfriend and him broke up, she told me that he was actually severely depressed and almost drove his car off a bridge multiple times. Deep down, he was having issues with wanting to live up to his dad's lifestyle and standards, but losing his old friends and life. It's too bad, I haven't seen him in probably four years now. We tried to reconnect a few times, but it just doesn't work anymore. Man, that's really sad. It's like his dad wanted to make up for the neglect with money. It's stories like these that tell you that money corrupts people. It's like all those YouTubers that got famous when they were really young, and a lot of them have just disappeared now, because they're probably broke. That's it for this video. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. Put the playlist on in the background to finish listening to all the stories. And if you like Am I the Genius, give Am I the Jerk a shot. It's linked in the description too. Either way, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys next time.